Welcome. Um, this is my first recording about using the GX85, GX80 with Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, what's so special about this camera? Well, what's special about this camera is that the camera records video levels, but it uses out of range values for overhead. So if you have a sunny scene, the very bright uh, regions will show as out of range values on your video levels. So it's, it's kind of like an overhead um, uh, area that, uh, that is used. So what are the implications of that? Well, the implications are that if you put this into Adobe Premiere Pro, um, you have to make sure you put these values into the legal range before you export the video. And um, in addition to that, you have to be extremely careful using some of the functions uh, uh, of Premiere uh, because you run the risk of clipping uh, that information and you, lo you lose it for good. So here's a, a setup. I, I took a video that's obviously overexposed. Uh, there's no need to, you know, to have this uh, exposed that high, but it's perfect for demonstration purposes. So now this is kind of the standard setup. And if you look at the waveform, it has both the luminance and the chroma information. And I personally find the chroma information more confusing than it, that it actually helps. Um, chroma can go out of range easier uh, than luma. So what I would, what I do is to show only the luma values. Now, if we look here, here's the percentage, and here's the um, RGB values, and one of the things that you immediately see is that apparently things are clipping and then of course you can see that here the horizon is basically gone <coughs> and you would say well there is no more information this is all gone and that's not true now notice this option here clamp signal don't clamp signal if you clamp your signal you can't see if there are out of range values so deselect that and you immediately see that these values are there. Now, when you export this uh, with video levels, the information will be there. It, it will copy this. But the problem is if you uh, play this on YouTube or, or any other device, um, it may very well be that it takes the video levels and expands them to RGB levels. And if it does that, it will clip this information. The other problem is that if you're using effects in Premiere, some of them work with the video range only and ignore or do nasty things with out of range values. For instance, if we go to the Lumetri color and we change the whites, you know, that would perhaps be the, the first obvious thing to, to do well. At any rate, it doesn't work, because if we change the white, look what happens. It completely ignores this, it just leaves it like that. See the banding here. Same with highlights. So you can't really use these slides if you have out of range values. You're going to mess up your image. Now exposure actually works more or less, but in earlier versions it was actually pretty bad. Um, exposure would just really do nasty things with this area. It does bring it down, but much more sluggish. And we can actually see a ship here now. I would recommend not to use any of these slides here 
if you have out of range values. The other thing that Premiere does is some video effects, uh, sorry, some, some video effects, yes, a clip the information. If we double click on levels here, so now we have levels in our clip. We haven't even touched any of the controls, but it already clips. Um, so again, that's not a good idea. So how do you bring these values into legal? There are several ways of doing it. Um, the two ways I prefer are the old-fashioned way, if I can say so, by using proc amp. Proc amp more or less linearly changes these values. So if we go brightness and contrast, the brightness basically moves this up and down, the whole thing. So that's very handy. So you can immediately bring this into legal. And you can see a horizon, and you can see the ship here. Of course, there's still values that are clipped, but at least we can see the horizon here. This is one way. Now the contrast is very different than the contrast in the Lumetri color. The contrast in the Lumetri color is basically an S-curve. But this contrast basically magnifies the whole region. So it just expands it, and then you can bring the brightness down. So this is kind of like your TV contrast and brightness. Um, it's old-fashioned, but you know what? It works very well. So there's an alternative. Um, let me delete the program. The alternative is to use some of the Lumetri colors. As I said before, this one does not operate well when you have illegal values. Um, creative actually does work. So if I create a cine space, it actually does operate on it as well. But here again, I would prefer not to use it until after you legalize your values. Curves same problem. It doesn't operate on these values. But it does bring the total values in. So if you have the endpoints of the curve, these work. You could actually take the curves and put them like this. That is a possibility, but remember, if you work within the regular range here, and you haven't reset the range, and you change the curve, it will not change these values here. So again, curves is not a, a good way to operate unless you actually bring it into legal like this. And then you can do whatever you want. The alternative is to use the color wheels. The highlights work just fine. See? So typically what I do is when I import the footage, I have an adjustment layer that takes care of this. So um, let's delete the Lumetri color and create an uh, adjustment layer. I suspect that's the wrong one. Well, let's see what's in there. Okay, it's empty. So, so first we bring this into legal, and we could use the curves. Let's use the curves. So let's put it in. Now, one thing you can notice is if you're maximizing the values here 
there still may be some color information that is clipped. So often it's better to be to be safe and to get that extra color information over here. Um, maybe we want to get more blacks. But I don't want to go too far because I prefer the color wheels. So just bring in the shadows like this. <coughs> and perhaps we want to make a little bit more colorful highlights and a little bit more darker blue. Perhaps warm it up. See, now after we can work with the Lumetri panel just fine. Uh, warm it up a little bit. And then we should be able to actually see the horizon. Um, the color here is still there. And it looks a lot better. So GX85, GX80 has a peculiarity in that the values are not necessarily legal. And the first thing you have to do in Premiere is to make them legal. Uh, otherwise, you run the risk of clipping. Hope this uh, little video uh, helped. And thanks for listening.